Yo, what up dogs? We got the Belgian War Bloods, animations, and new western tag spoilers. I am recording this on the exact same day that it's been released. I just cannot upload a video today because I already uploaded a video a few hours ago and you probably haven't watched it because the video is not doing as well. So, you're a little rodent for not watching it. Alright, the video is by CC Creations as always and I'm gonna be reacting to the Belgian War Bloods and I just wanna say something before I get started. When I reacted to the Belgian War Bloods um, in my last video, people really missed the entire point and twisted my words. I didn't say I wouldn't want to buy the Belgian Wormbloods, I didn't say I necessarily dislike them. What I did say is that I wish Star Sable would have first updated the older Wormblood breeds and then bring out the new Belgian Wormbloods. But anyway, also the funniest thing is that the stinkers, the people that hate me, are actually my biggest fans. I'm telling you they're really watching this because they're so thirsty for my reactions and for my opinions, even though they hate them so much. Like this is literally them right now. Like, you're like, you're like, wait! <laughs> Like waiting, like seriously, like that, like a dog. You're like a dog, like waiting, like for me to like break up. That's what you're doing, cause you're sick. You're sick. You're miserable. You're ugly, and you're a loser. Okay. All right. So again, this is not the final result. So don't get too excited, too mad. The source table for them. The Belgian Wormbloods. Let's see them. That's an interesting tale there. Anyway. So here are the gates. Um. Why is the body so weird? You know what, let me see how the horse looks like in real life first, before talking too much about them. Alright, so they have a pretty awkward body in real life too, so it kind of makes sense as to why Star Stable has done that. Also, it's 7.30pm here and I'm having Red Bull, like I need help. Alright, so yeah, the body's awkward, it's because they also look weird in real life, so kind of makes sense. Um, I cannot not see the fact that they have like bug faces, like they have the faces of a bug, I don't know why. This animation looks really weird. I'm gonna be really honest with you. It looks really weird. I do have to say that I appreciate the fact that I have unique animations. Okay, this one I actually really like. It's a pretty... yeah, no, it's... it's cool. I'm not a fan of the main though, but whatever, we can change that. Um, this one is alright. I don't like the way the neck is so, like, forward. Um, I really don't like this animation. Wow, bro, I thought I would like the animations of the new Belgian Wormbloods. That is really weird. Uh, I have a feeling that the person that did animations for these horses is also the person that did animations for the Icelandics and for the for the Frisian horses. I really don't like this. Oh boy. No. I absolutely hate that. That looks so weird. Okay, the jumps. What the hell is that tail? What on earth is that tail, like the way it just like rounds up like a freaking snail there. Do you see that? Do you see that? I hate that. I really don't like that. All right, rodents, so this is what Star Stable was going for. See how the tail does that? It looks good in person, but the way Star Stable's made it in game looks just a bit funky, in my opinion. It's also because in real life, the horses have so much more hair and it just looks way better. Um, Star Stable has done it in a way where the the tail, the hairs of the tail, almost look just glued, you know what I mean? And so because of that, because there are not many individual strands of hair, um, the way Star Stable has done it looks a bit funky. Look at this. See how nice that looks like? But do you see how there's so many individual pieces of hair just moving? Obviously because it's a real horse. The way Star Stable has done the tail, the hairs of the tail, they just look way more like glued to each other. Not as free and individual. But can you imagine how hard that would be to individually move every single hair of a horse in the game? Like, bro. You know, I don't have much to complain, I think, about the jump. Actually, no, it's really weird, like really stretched out too. Like, do you see that? Look at this. What is this, like, shape? What is... it looks so... like it's long. Doesn't make any sense. Do you see how long the body becomes and how like disproportionate? But again, the horse looks like that in real life too. Like the horse's body is weird in real life, so. But still, like the horse is just the horse's body just stretched out so much when it jumps. Like it's almost made out of like play doh. You know what I mean? No, I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't. And the gallop is weird too. The special move. Oh, we finally get bucking in the game. That's so sick. Finally, bro. I like that. The fact that it's bucking like that's just amazing. Wait, aren't the Mustangs doing that too? Like, we already have bucking in the game, don't we? 
who uses the dance? Like no one cares about the dance. <laughs> okay, the idle animations. Oh man, I really feel like they're over dynamic. Yes, they are. What is happening? Yeah, I'm telling you, this horse has been animated by the same person that has animated the Yorvik Fuglies, um, the Yorvik Frisian horses. That's really sad because Wormbloods. I love Wormbloods in real life. Like this horse breed had so much potential, but was probably done by the wrong person. Why is the tail moving like that when you jump? Do you see how annoying that is? Oh, bro, like it's a freaking broom. Like it's sweeping the floors. No, it looks like a worm. Okay, let's look at the colors. I've seen some spoilers of them and I really like them. This is the first one. Um, I wouldn't be getting this one just because I feel like it's way too basic and boring. But I don't hate it. I don't dislike it. It's just not for me. Not something I would want. Oh, now the braids again. They look like smaller, like shorter than usual. I feel like braids with like worm bloods will look just amazing, bro. Like, yeah, you guys know I love braids all the time, but with worm bloods, they look even better. Do you see how like frantic the horse is, how much it moves when it's in the idle animation? I hate that. Okay, this is the next color. I don't really like it. It's a chestnut. Um, yeah, I would not be getting this. I don't like it. I don't hate it. Well, yeah, no, I, I don't like it. I'm not gonna be getting this one. Color number three, we have a black one with a sock. Um, it's nice, I just feel like it's a bit boring. So, I will not be getting it. But out of the three that I've just seen so far, this one's my favorite one. All right, next color is this light gray, which I actually really like. Well, I don't like the fact that the mane is so much lighter than the body, like there's something that <laughs> triggers me about that. I don't know what it is, but it's a pretty pretty nice horse even though it's a bit like barbie like i don't know isn't it and then this is the one that i've seen in spoilers that i liked right isn't this the done one? Oh yeah oh yeah this one is my favorite i believe i like this one this one looks nice you know i'm still gonna be getting one but i'm just so upset about the animations and the fact that this horse had so much potential and it's just been like ruined you know what i mean oh man that's it's whatever it's fine and then there's the last color that's going to be sold at fort pinta yeah, I'm not gonna be getting this one. I really don't like it. I really I really don't like this coat on any horses really. Oh and then there's one more. It's gonna be in the app. Um well probably it's gonna be in the app. I don't don't really like it. Haven't I already seen these coats though in the animation in the other spoiler video that I made? I think I have. And then there's this one which actually looks oh yeah, I like this one. The face marking is really nice. Is it inspired by this one horse here? Yeah, it's inspired from this H&M horse. They're gonna be sold at Silvergate Manor. They're gonna be 850. Man, I wish they wouldn't be so dynamic and like frantic. Just, I don't like that. They're too much, you know what I mean? I like this coat a lot. And then the done one. For size comparison, I think they're a good size. Okay, so they're adding new, just saddle pad and bridles, I believe. Oh, this bridle is so weird, I don't like it. Oh, I really don't like this bridle. Bro, I feel so bad because I've only, like, in this video, I've literally only been complaining. Like, there's not, not many things that I like, you know? And, like, I'm not gonna be fake and lie. Like, this is what I think. If you guys like them, good for you, but... Yeah, I don't like any of the new tack. No. Well, do I really dislike it that much? That's a pretty nice saddle pad. The bridle is not, like, the worst here, but... Okay, maybe this outfit is decent, I think. I think what is most frustrating is that they're adding new bridles every single time they add a new horse breed, but... Well, almost every single time, but they don't make it so that every horse is able to wear the bridle. And it's like, can you please just bring new bridles only after you've, you know, fitted all the older bridles on all the horse breeds? Anyway, not a big fan of really anything. I'm kind of upset about the animations like I really am. Let's hope the other Wormbloods that must be updated are not going to be updated uh, by the same person, like won't be animated by the same person. Because the coats is not like, that's not what the issue is. Like, it's not the coats, you know what I mean? It's the animations that bother me, even though I love this model so much. I won't be able to really enjoy writing it just because of animations, you know what I mean? Alright, good morning guys. It's the second day. We got spoilers for the Tennessee Walking Horses and uh, we just got the colors and the main styles leaked, which is what happened with the Belgian Wormblads at first. Alright, before we even look at the spoilers, I want to see... I want to take a look at the real-life horse first just because it helps me remember how they actually look like, their body proportions, so that way... Yeah, okay. Honestly, never been a fan of this horse breed in real life, so I'm not expecting to like them too much in-game because of that. 
They're just not my cup of tea. All right, here we go. Okay, honestly, this code is hitting the right spot. Do you know what I mean? Bro, this code is actually like hitting the spot. What do you mean? They're very detailed. It's a very, very detailed code. I really like the face marking, even though the fact that it's like that, you know what I mean? It makes the horse's face look crooked. All right, this is a Pinto Strawberry Roan. And honestly, like this code is just really good. Okay, here's the thing with the model. Just because I personally don't like the way the horse, the Tennessee walking horse looks like in real life, like even the horse's body, I don't like the way it looks like. I'm obviously not really gonna like the way Star Stables made it because it's pretty accurate the way Star Stables done it to the real life horse. And yeah, I just don't like the horse in real life, so I can't expect to like it in game. You know what I mean? Okay, then there's a blue roan. It's a nice coat. I do like it. I do like it. Even the mane is pretty accurate to how it looks like in real life. Um, then there's this one. It reminds me so much of a horse from Red Dead Redemption, though. Um, not a big fan of it. Can you guys believe it? I don't know what happened to me, bro, but like I used to be a huge fan. I used to be a sucker for black pin toes, but not as much anymore. You know what I mean? Like my whole channel is represented by a horse like this one, and I'm like, not a huge fan anymore. Okay, this one is really good. This one is really good looking. I'm really liking this one. Uh, this one, not so much, to be honest. That's a, what, Cremello. And then there's the Dapple Grey, which obviously I like because I'm I'm basic like that, that I like Dapple Greys a lot. Um, I wish the eyes were a different color, though. I wish they were, like, brown or something. All right, this is the, these are the main cells, right? The shaved one, the braids, I hate the braids, the, sh um, the roached razor and braids. Of course, I like the braids. Um... But yeah, the natural mane looks very accurate to the real life horse. Um, I kind of like the razor cut with that one. I kind of like this. This looks pretty good. It reminds me so much of the English thoroughbred though. I don't know why, but it just does. From this shot, the face at least, just the face. Yeah, I, I'm really happy with the way Star Staples doing coats lately. You guys know that I always praise them for that. Unless you're one of the stinkers and you're just blinded and you only hear the negative things that I say. All right, so I really like this one. I kind of like this one too, but I don't think I'm going to be getting it. Um, then I like the Blue Roan, but I might not be getting it. I'm not going to be getting this one. This one is nice. I think I'll be getting either just this one or the... I'm definitely getting the the Pink Roan. It looks amazing. This is just stunning. The amount of detail Star Trek has been putting in their horses. Bro, they're just too good. So I'm more happy with the Tennessee walking horses. I really do hope they're gonna be animated by Nomi's team because Nomi Tails, bro, she's just like something else. Like the work that she makes is just absolutely phenomenal. Not a fan of the other team that does the Star Stable horses. Um, they've done the Belgian Wormbloods and I don't like the way they've animated them. But that's my opinion. Let me know what you think of the horses down below. Um, any opinion is welcome. If you like them or dislike them, just let me know. Uh, we can agree to disagree. If you guys want to see more Star Simple videos or just horse-related videos, then please subscribe, ring the bell, like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.